I've been able to see for the first time uh, some complete segments of Todd Standing's filming of Sasquatches in another, in another area where he's worked on and with him explaining the background, which is so important. And uh, I'm firmly convinced that he has filmed Sasquatches and that he has, what he has portrayed in his documentary are indeed very close portraits, in fact, of the Sasquatch face. Because if indeed they are, they are clearly some of the most astounding photos of, uh, of Sasquatch in existence. With all the 10, 20 years of tracking and experience I have in the wilderness, there's no way that those structures happen randomly. Mm -hmm. There's no way that you got sight of a Sasquatch in those areas with those tree breaks, with those tracks, getting those apples taken, with those sounds, all these things. For the past 10 years, I've been conducting expeditions, documenting chronicles, and interviewing people pertaining to the subject of Sasquatch. With over 20 years worth of hardcore backcountry expedition experience into the most remote regions, I've tracked and studied various North American species that have had little to no exposure to civilization. I am a student of many disciplines, trained in the art of tracking by a Cree Nations elder and a military sniper. My skill sets include camouflage techniques using the terrain and its features to mask ground movement, obstacle crossing, camping positions, effective observation, camouflage penetration, counter surveillance, survival evasion, and escape techniques. In 2006, my team and I publicly showed two separate crystal clear Bigfoot videos I personally filmed, which we used to petition the Canadian government for species protection of Bigfoot. The petition was certified and tabled in the Canadian House of Commons. The media response was enormous, with hundreds of newspaper, television networks, radio stations, and websites that receptively presented our work across the globe. It was our goal to reach out to the masses about why our group was beginning the struggle for species recognition and protection.